rate of reaction versus concentration practical. FA1 is an accurate solution of sodium thiosulfate Na2S2O3. FA2 is dilute hydrochloric acid HCl. When the, when the solution of sodium thiosulfate is mixed with hydrochloric acid, a reaction takes place and a fine suspension of solid sulfur is formed in the solution. If the depth of the solution in the beaker is kept constant, the marker will always disappear when the same amount of sulfur has been formed. You are to use this reaction to investigate how the rate of reaction between sodium thiosulfate solution and hydrochloric acid changes as the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate solution is varied. Use a 50 cm cubic measuring cylinder to place 50 cm cubic of FA1 into a 250 cm cube beaker. Measure 5 cm cube of FA2 into the small measuring cylinder. Dry the outside of the beaker containing FA1 and place it over the printed text on the insert sheet. And then pour the, F, the 5 cm cube of FA2 from the measuring cylinder into the beaker. And at the same moment, start a stop clock or note the time on a clock with a second sweep hand. Swirl the beaker to mix the solution thoroughly and place it back over the insert. The insert should then be viewed from above so that the text is observed through the depth of the solution. Stop the stop clock or note the time when the printing on the insert is just no longer visible and record the time to the nearest second in the table. So here's one of the samples recorded in the table. So in the next page, we're going to plot the graph against volume of FA1 to 1 times S to the power of negative 1 times 10 to the power of 3. When plotting the graph, use draw a best fit line through the points. Not all of the points have to be aligned with the best fit line. Don't forget to use a ruler as well. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching!